In late January 2022, a photo was leaked showing a crashed F-35 sinking into the South China Sea waters. The image immediately raised a lot of speculation as it showed debris surrounding the vehicle and it had no canopy. Still, the Navy kept quiet. An 18-second video then surfaced, depicting the moments leading to the crash. As the F-35 approaches a carrier, a loud noise can be heard and the aircraft loses control. The subsequent impact happens off-camera, while smoke and debris fill the screen. It took the Navy some time to admit that the images were authentic and that the incident had happened on the USS Carl Vinson carrier, marking the fifth major disturbance in two months while the ship had been on patrol in the area. Still, the US has only one thing in mind, retrieving the invaluable aircraft before the Chinese lay hands on it. Unintentional. In August of 2021, the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson was deployed with F-35 Lightning IIs on board for the first time. But by late January of 2022, the carrier had already suffered five serious incidents, crowned by the loss of one of her valuable fighters. Somewhere in the South China Sea, Vinson was carrying out exercises with the Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group when an F-35C crash-landed on her deck. The accident happened during normal routine operations on January 24th. Three days later, a photograph showing the jet floating in the water was leaked on social media. The image shows that the aircraft was missing its canopy and ejection seat, while debris can be seen all around it. Later that day, actual footage showing what happened was also released for the world to see. It was an 18-second video that revealed the tense moments before the fighter crashed. The Navy initially stated that it could not confirm the photo's authenticity. But not long after, the service corroborated the imagery as genuine, explaining that the video and the picture were taken on board USS Carl Vinson CVN-70. The video shows the fighter as it banks to approach the carrier. The ship itself was turning at the time, as can be seen from the starboard angle at the aft, where the video was apparently filmed, on a platform holding an MK-38 25mm machine gun. During the approach, the whine of the F-35C's engine increased just as the rear control surfaces fluttered. The aircraft then exits the frame, followed by a thump and a curtain of smoke rising from the flight deck. Seven sailors were injured in the incident, including the pilot, who ejected on time and was recovered via helicopter. However, he and two others had to be evacuated to Manila for medical treatment, while the remaining four were treated on board. They've all recovered since the occurrence. The unfortunate episode marked the fifth major accident aboard the carrier in a two-month period while patrolling the South China Sea. Nevertheless, little information is available about the string of mishaps. As Navy spokesman Lieutenant Nicholas Lingo expressed, quote, All five incidents remain under investigation, and we cannot speak to any pattern until the investigation concludes. Plans to salvage the wreck are currently underway, but the unrevealed location of the accident and the agents that are involved in the retrieval will determine the reaction of the Chinese military towards the operation. Next Steps The damage in the carrier was merely superficial, allowing the air wing to resume normal operations rapidly. Navy spokesman Lieutenant Mark Langford reported, quote, Impact to the flight deck is superficial, and all equipment for flight operations is operational. However, the precious stealth fighter was not so lucky. At $100 million, the warplane is the newest stealth fighter in the U.S. Navy fleet, and is thus equipped with the most advanced technology to date. Consequently, analysts have reiterated that Washington should strive to keep such sensitive intelligence out of Beijing's hands. Mark Kansian, a former Marine Corps officer and current senior advisor for the Center for Strategic and International Studies Security Program, stressed that the loss of the Sea Service's premier jet was a huge deal and stated, quote, This is our most sophisticated aircraft. It has all kinds of electronics on board that our adversaries would love to get a hold of. We need to make sure they don't. The South China Sea is considered by many to be the most restless body of water in the world. Regardless, Lieutenant Lingo has confirmed that the effort to recover the pricey asset has begun. Analysts have foretold that raising the aircraft will be a complex enterprise. 
Moreover, the Asian giant, which claims almost the entire 1.3 million square mile sea as its own, will likely monitor the operation closely. Incidentally, Vincent was on patrol to counter territorial claims in the region and defend international freedom of navigation. Still, Kansian explained that the South China Sea is not particularly deep, making the entire effort somewhat easy. Furthermore, he argued that, quote, the United States routinely goes and salvages aircraft that have crashed in order to better understand what happened and to safeguard the sensitive equipment on them. Given that the aircraft impacted the deck and then fell into the water, it's plausible that it's largely intact. Kansian added, quote, it sounds like it hit the deck hard and rolled off the edge. It didn't go into the water at speed. It gets much harder if it's in a thousand pieces. Another concern is that the Chinese Navy will likely meddle with the operation. In case the U.S. Navy hires a salvage company, they might be compelled to provide an escort. The advisor foretold, quote, I'm sure the Chinese will object. They'll send some notes and protest. They'll send a ship out to watch, but I doubt that they do more. International Affairs Retired submarine officer and senior fellow at the Hudson Institute, Brian Clark, believes China must be pleased that such a valuable adversary piece has crashed into its own backyard. Quote, Although China has some F-35 data from their cyber espionage and has built a copy, the Chinese military's version is probably not identical in terms of sensors and combat systems, so obtaining a U.S. aircraft would be very helpful. On their part, the Chinese clarified through their foreign ministry that they had no interest in the fighter whatsoever. Indeed, they pleaded, quote, We advise the U.S. to contribute more to regional peace and stability, rather than flexing force at every turn in the South China Sea. Still, the Navy is currently racing to salvage the F-35C. And given the closeness to the Asian superpower, it is likely that their submarines will find the fighter before any U.S. salvage ship can reach the site. The Chinese, however, have kept a diplomatic posture, with Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian even noting that, quote, this is not the first time that the U.S. has an accident in the South China Sea. Indeed, two decades ago, an EP-3 surveillance aircraft was forced to emergency land on Hainan Island in Chinese territory after a severe collision with a pursuing Chinese fighter. Luckily, the 24-man American crew survived, but they were detained and interrogated by the Chinese authorities and kept there for 10 days. In the meantime, the Asian military exploited the opportunity to closely examine highly classified equipment and intelligence materials, and the aircraft was returned in pieces. Additionally, two other F-35s have been lost during the last three years, starting with a Japanese F-35A in 2019 and a British F-35B in 2021. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby concluded, quote, We're certainly mindful of the value of an F-35 in every respect of what value means. And as we continue to attempt recovery of the aircraft, we're going to do it obviously with safety foremost in mind, but clearly our own national security interests. And I think we'll just leave it at that. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more exciting history-related content. Stay tuned.